What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and uh, I gotta admit, man, it feels good to be back. Anyways, now we have two articles that we need to react to, read through, and see the details of. Now, the first one here is that people are really upset at the fact that tournament mode is not what, one, but what everyone wanted it to be. And, you know, we had a really robust tournament mode in the previous games. Um, Melee, my favorite one as well, too. The fact that you can make the tournaments, you can decide every single rule, every single detail about them right there, and they didn't have to necessarily be forced to being only online. Well, Kotaku, as much as people may not like them, they did compile the information in a really compressed and readable format. So we're going to react to the Kotaku article talking in detail about why people are pissed off at the new tournament mode. Of course, by now, you guys know, but I need to acknowledge this myself as well too, so I'm going to be reading through the article and seeing all the details myself. Now, I read through this before myself already, but we really have to address this and talk about it, so I want to get a discussion going, and maybe we can get more attention on this, so potentially this could be patched or fixed in the future. Now, in regards to the tournament modes, Smash Brothers got a huge update, adding something that fans um, of Nintendo's colorful mashup fighting game have been eagerly awaiting, an online tournament mode. But not necessarily just online, we actually wanted something that you could also do offline as well too. Um, maybe not as practical as an online tournament since you would have a ton of entrants entering in, but the offline tournaments were fun too, just for, you know, a little bit of a, of a fun way of playing with friends that was different from just doing the regular one-on-ones who could actually host the tournaments. Now, Many weren't thrilled to see what had become of it. The new tournament modes, all players, the new tournament modes, all players from across the universe to join up and create their own competitive events online. So you can make your own tournament. They come in two different forms. First, community mode, which is more casual environment where similar to tourneys in Mario Kart 8, players can set their own rules for the events. Then there's bracket mode, which is a more competitive affair that follows fixed rules established by Nintendo and only being able to be made by Nintendo. They can be anywhere from 16 to 64 participants in either mode, so two tournament modes. Bracket mode allows for a more standard elimination format, hence the name. While community mode awards points, all you have to do to join to enter either type of tournament is enter a preset code created by the organizer. So, for example, if I wanted to host an Etika World Network Smash Brothers Online tournament, you just need the ID of the tournament and the code, the password, to be able to enter in. And you know, I mean, if you don't know what the tournament mode is or what the faults are of it right now, we're about to get into that. The last two Smash games, Melee and Brawl, for the GameCube and Wii respectively, both have their own tournament modes. So series fans have been asking Nintendo to add a similar but hopefully better feature ever since the game released last fall. And at face value, it sort of seemed like the company did, bringing in two different types of tourneys, plus an additional, plus an option to post portions of gameplay directly to YouTube thanks to a Mario Kart 8-esque YouTube sharing system. When it launched with the 1.10 update, people on the influential Smash Boards forum and the Smash Bros subreddit recoiled in disgust at what they have been handed. Now, the article takes a little while to get to the nitty gritty details, but if you don't know them by now, you're going to be fucking disgusted as well too. So what did they change? Well, first, players are not allowed to make 1v1 tournaments in community mode, which means that if you had a bunch of people that wanted to do one-on-one -on -one brackets, you're not going to be able to do so. Every single match in tournament mode for you to be able to create with your friends is always going to be a four-player free-for-all. Um, the rest of the options are great, but this is, oh wait, yeah. Um, the only option available is free-for-all, the, the chaotic, excuse me, every man for himself kind of game that most people associate with casual Smash. This is a huge problem, a Smash player named Tyler explained to me over email today. But we already know why it's a problem. And then second, the, to make the only free-for-all option worse, bracket tourneys can only be made up by Nintendo, and I mentioned this earlier in the article as well too. So Nintendo is the only one that can host a 1v1 tournament at this point. Um, and more details as well too. Um, this causes a huge list of problems. Even the competitive 1v1 brackets are two stocks, three minutes. Three minute one-on-one -on -one two stock matches. Now. That is nowhere near enough time, and it will usually involve a timeout every single time. Um, three minutes means that every match ends in a timeout, and the winner being whoever has done the most damage instead of whoever has a lower percent. Even Nintendo's own competitive online mode for glory is two stocks, five minutes. Their competitive brackets are only Final Destination and Omega stages, so no Battlefield, Smashville, Town, and City. Their brackets start at specific times and don't automatically start when they fill up. As a result, players have to wait upwards of an hour to play in a single tournament. 
Um, there are numerous reports that if a player disconnects midway through a match in this mode, it counts as a loss for both players, removing both from the tourney. So Nintendo's own BS when it comes to their online tournaments hosting is crap. It, it, it's crap in itself because now you have three minute two stock matches in a 1v1 tournament. It's damn sure going to end in um, timeouts. And I've seen this as well before too because I saw some tournaments on Twitch that were some people were hosting and it looked insane. Like four player versus in every single match and that was the only way that you could progress. Obviously four players, even if it's no items or whatnot, it's not going to allow for a competitive environment and for you to truly excel as a player because there's always going to be somebody joining in the fray. It, 1v1 is the most optimal way to see competitive skill. Now, let's look more in detail here. And thirdly, and finally, on oh, this is this one is the fucking ball clencher right here. The YouTube replay feature Nintendo added alongside restricts clips to three minutes or less. What was Nintendo thinking doing this? Three minutes for a clip to be uploaded onto YouTube with Smash Brothers in-house uploading system. I don't understand that. And then on top of it all, the thing that makes it even funnier is the fact that those videos are most likely automatically claimed by Nintendo. I've seen a lot of people talking about this on Twitter. They reported to me that, hey man, when I upload a clip to YouTube with the Smash Brothers YouTube uploader, the shit gets automatically claimed. And you know, so Nintendo automatically says, oh, we can make money over this. Let's take that. And, I mean, that's why I'm saying it's most likely not the optimal way, and it seems like everything that Nintendo did when it came to the tournament mode, while we appreciate the fact that they did it in the first place, and it can definitely be patched later on to have better features installed, it's not what people wanted, and it's not the it's not the tournament mode that everybody was desiring. The fact that first off, you're not allowed to do it offline, and then second, that the 1v1 matches are two stocks. Third, the fact that people, community members, can't even create 1v1 tournaments, it, it, it's kind of ridiculous, man. They should make tournaments that you have over, like, no, they, they should make tournaments that you have control of every single aspect of them to ensure that you're able to get the most out of it. And I, I don't understand why they didn't think that was a good idea. But I, that's what I'm saying. Maybe we should not judge them too early because I'm guessing that most likely down the road, Sakurai is going to be releasing patch updates to be able to bring the tournaments up to speed. When you consider that's a whole separate mode that was nowhere in the game when it first came out, the fact that he was able to add in such a robust feature, like from nothing, is pretty impressive. But it needs some updates in order for people to be satisfied with it. And the YouTube uploading feature as well too. I have no idea why in the fucking first place the matches are limited to 3 minutes. It's really stupid that that limit exists, considering that you can have matches in Smash Brothers for a really long time. Like, like, isn't the limit like 15 minutes for a Smash Brothers match to be recorded? I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, but it definitely isn't three minutes, because I've had matches that were five minutes and up, and my 3DS, my Wii U records them perfectly. So there's a lot of issues here. Did I name the ones that bother you the most? And if I didn't, let me know in the comments. I know I said I was going to cover two articles in this video, but this one was pretty damn big and it required a lot of attention. And I think it needs its own video at this point because like, we really need to get attention on this whole thing. And hopefully in the future, there'll be an update that'll you know make things a bit more user friendly. Because right now, tournaments are pretty much unplayable. I mean, you can play them, you can try them. They're not that bad per se, as long as you're willing to accept that you're going to be in a four-player um, brawl every single match. And if you do join the official Nintendo tournaments, you're going to be waiting quite a long time to be able to fight 1v1 bracket. I don't know why that's something Nintendo limited, but whatever the case may be, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.